Welcome to the Weekend Homestead. This weekend, episode number nine of The House Project. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to update. Pretty cool stuff, huh, buddy? We gonna show everybody around? Yep. So we got a lot of stuff, a lot of new updates, getting close to winter. We are in the second week of November right now, and it's still 50 to 60 degrees outside, which bought us some time to put a roof on the house. So we put a roof on, we put all the vents in, we got all the stonework on the outside of the house done. So I'm gonna show you a bunch of that stuff. We got this. Right above us here, done the timber frame uh, construction on the front porch. Everything's cladded in. We got all the vinyl and all the aluminum up there um, and all the wood in place. In the springtime, we'll uh, stain everything. But you ready, bud? Ready. Thumbs up. All right, here we go. All right, so on the front of the house here, I uh, got some just basic updates. Um, got our second window in. So this is the guest bedroom. This is the boys' bedroom. And then this is... The front porch these steps here off to the side are just temporary uh, eventually the steps will be off the front here but because of what we have that uh, needed to get it going for the winter time here we just have these steps here the the posts are in and the concrete is in down here eventually we'll get the rest of it put in up top we got our framing in i've got our electrical in and everything's ready to go there i just gotta get our fixture and in the springtime this will all get stained and finished we'll do the vinyl and the aluminum around the window and get that going here's the next part here the front window is all in our plumbing is in on the side here so that kind of came together um, all the uh, soffit and fascia on the front of the house is done so that's all come together and as we go this way you can see the stone on the fireplace is done uh, this was a project that was one of those things where we thought you know we could try to get the fireplace to work, but running the pipe through and everything else, after we did all the checking, we just needed to tear it off and put a new one in. So this is what the new stonework looks like. That black vent right there is the vent for the air intake. Our fireplace is very efficient and it uses air from outside instead of drawing air from the inside, which then allows it to run a lot better. So that vent right there is for the fireplace. We'll get that sprayed with some uh, spray paint in the springtime, kind of tape it off and get it all touched up and it'll just blend into everything. So the two vents over here, one is the exhaust for the furnace, the other is the exhaust for the uh, water heater, which are both now functional. Uh, over on this side, I gotta do a little cleanup on my insulation over here, but that's the uh, connectors for the air conditioning, new central air unit, uh, which also has a dehumidifier built into it. So in the summertime, we can get the humidity out of the house, keep it nice and cool. Um, and then that's where our connections are for that. Uh, up top is our low voltage connection. Um, in a previous episode, you saw me putting that in. Basically, that's our satellite television, that's our uh, Wi-Fi cameras, and all of our AV outside stuff is all run to that box up on the top there. And then all the systems will tap into that nice clean way of keeping everything kind of organized. A couple other quick updates. Reason why I'm up here, see those vents there? Those two vents are the bathroom vents. The other one is the septic vent. And then the last item there is the solar dome for inside of the bathroom. And then as you can see, we have new architectural shingles on the roof. The entire house, because of the warm weather, we were able to get the entire house roofed uh, this fall, which is an amazing addition. We didn't think it would be done. It came together really well. You know, it turned out really good, made us watertight. No more issues with water in the house. Now we just need to get gutters on the house and finish up the soffit and fascia on the backside here. And uh, the house will pretty much be sealed up for the year. What was out there yesterday? 
Yeah. You had some deer come visit you yesterday? Yep. So what, what happened over there, Cameron? Can you tell us what happened back behind you? Back where the deer came. Yeah? And they were eating over there? Yep. So this is just to give you an example of what this hill looks like behind us. We figured all the way up to the top of the hill there is about 400 feet from the back of the house and it goes up uh, 80 feet. So when you're standing on the top, you can see out into the county. It's a pretty amazing view. And then that goes down into a valley to the Homestead Creek and then goes back up again uh, to where the apple orchard is. Um, if we go sledding down that hill, we would have to stop sledding or we would hit the garage and launch off the garage. Yeah, that'd be crazy, wouldn't it? Yeah, I know. But this is kind of an example of what it looks like from the back of the house. I just want to do a quick update. I know we we're updating the house a lot, but I wanted to show you this. So as you can see, in all the trees and branches out here, there's not a green anything anywhere. John Deere is still green, but everything else, there's no living vegetation, nothing green. But take a look at this. This is just an example of what a deer food plot would look like. A um, couple of the other ones we've driven past and gone through, everything is mowed down super short. And I have never mowed it, and I know that the deer are coming out and eating it. Um, they've been scraping right here inside of the mineral uh, deposit that we put there earlier this year. And uh, they've been working on uh, this uh, area pretty regularly. Uh, we check the camera every once in a while and lots of pictures out here. So, there you go. Green in a food plot. Green nowhere else. So just wanted to give you a quick update on that. One last update for everybody. Lincoln Edward was born six pounds, eight ounces, 21 inches long at about 9.30 in the morning. Everything's been great. Cameron's been a great big brother. Been a lot of fun uh, having him as an addition to the family. Uh, we'll get some other updates out, but mom and baby are doing well and uh, hopefully they'll be joining us here shortly for uh, videos up here at the homestead. Our hope is over the next couple months, we get the house finished on the inside. So sheetrock's getting delivered next week. Um, flooring, ceilings, fixtures, trim work, bathrooms, all that stuff will get done over the next couple weeks here. We're gonna stop working on the outside now. The deck, the, the porch, the siding, and all that will happen in the springtime. We're pretty much closed up for the season. So everything's looking good here and everything is going great up on the project and on the home front. So thanks for watching and sticking along with us. If you like what we're doing here, make sure you give us a thumbs up. This has been the Weekend Homestead, living the simple life, one weekend at a time. Thanks a lot. Yeah. See you. This is my dad. Hi, Dad. Hi, buddy. Look it. <laughs> Are you tractor crazy? Tractor's even upside down? I'm a... <laughs> I'm carrying the camera upside down. So then. Be careful with Dad's camera, though. Don't drop it. Okay.